back to the Southern Quality Ford Friday Night Blitz. Joy Perry's back in studio. Mark Cantrell joining us up here on set. And Mark, uh, Calvary Cavaliers had that rough start to the season. Now have won three straight, including the win over Loyola tonight. What's sort of been the difference from that early season uh, stretch? Well, you got a lot of young guys on defense. You got a lot of gun young guys on offense, particularly that offensive line. They're really starting to play together. Uh, the skill guys, they're starting to come in, make the plays that they need to make. Micah Jernigan's been a favorite receiver of Kate Hart. He's got a, at least a touchdown and three catches in each game of the last three games when they've won. Uh, Mason Little, he's had a catch in every game uh, this year. So when they get when they get those close and he gets more time to throw the football, he's going to be able to find his open receivers. That's and the kid I want to talk about right there. Yes, right there. That is the <laughs> best run right there I have ever seen. Isaiah Brown, he went from his four to the other four. And you see that last right there where he drug those defenders, he drug them 15 yards by himself. And he is, he is a beast. And he had over 200 yards rushing last week. Tonight, Loyola, they kind of zoned in, and their, their game plan was to stop him. They did that. He only got like 50-something yards rushing and 11 carries. But Joseph Wilson. So, so, yeah. so you go from one whose older brother plays at Arizona to another whose older brother is in the NFL. Yeah. Joseph Wilson, he had over 100 yards rushing tonight. Touchdown for the Cavs. And you stop I mean, you can't just work, worry on one. You stop him. Now they're going to be focused on stopping Joseph Wilson. Isaiah Brown's going to take off. Kate Hart's going to throw for 300 yards. So, I mean, they have so many weapons on offense. Yeah, they had that tough stretch against the big schools like Burr, like Bastrop. How has that prepared them for what's sure to come here in district play? Oh, yeah, I think it helps a lot. It helped last year as well, particularly. Uh, they were Once they got to district play, they didn't lose a game. And uh, that's the type of team they're going to have to beat if they want to get back to the Superdome and play for another state championship. So it's going to help them. It's going to help them, hey, we've been here before. We've seen these type of teams. We know what we got to do. So. And that win over Sterlington had to be a, a boost for you guys. I mean, Sterlington's one of the yeah. better teams in, yeah. in the state. And, and you guys go into their house last week and beat them. And it was, I mean, it was, the score really doesn't tell how it was. I mean, Calvary dominated that game. It was 28 to nothing at one point before Sterlington ever got on the board. Calvary's defense made play after play on fourth down. Sterlington kept going for it, and Calvary kept stopping them. And the offense, they kept doing what they had to do. You saw the run from Isaiah Brown a little bit earlier. And, I mean, you keep making plays like that and have the game that they had. It was going to be a good night. And they came away with the biggest win probably in the last two years. And talk about tonight's win as well. Loyola's been a good football team. They're a class up. And you guys, you know, you hang on. You get that field goal late in the game and you hang on. It was a big win tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, going into that game, you're thinking, you know, this is going to be a high scoring. I mean, we could have 60, 70 points scored in this game easy. But uh, it was a very quick play first half, probably the quickest half we've had all year, I know for sure, probably the past two years. And uh, Calvary was up by seven at the half, 10 to three. You wouldn't have thought that. You thought maybe that's a mid first quarter score with these two teams playing. But uh, they, the defense was outstanding in the first half. Loyola, they made some adjustments on offense. You gotta give them credit, man. They came back, they were down 17 to three, started the third quarter after Calvary scored on the opening drive. And they came back, tied it up. Matt Ramsey, that running back, man, he's, he's the real deal. He's going he's gonna to put up some triple digits the rest of the way, no doubt. With the way the Cavaliers are trending now, what do you feel like the ceiling could be for this team? Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, if they play like they did against Sterlington, anything can happen. They were making plays on defense. They were making the plays on offense. And they could, they could get back to the Superdome. But it's going to take a game like they played against Sterlington for that to happen. All right, Mark. Uh we're going to keep you up here on set. We're going to talk about a high, handful of high school football games and the action that we saw t tonight, the big one Her over in our game the of the week. <laughs> That's coming your way right here on the Blitz. We'll be right back. Yeah! 